everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2022 Lexus LX600 and its 25 speaker Mark Levinson reference audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the new infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, inputs, controls, speaker locations, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're tired of hearing the same songs week in and week out, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. There we've got member-only tests with songs requested by viewers. So if you want to help out the channel and see some behind-the-scenes content, check the join button or the link in the description. Before we get started, let's do a quick walk around the video. Fortunately, it is raining today in this event that we're here at, but we had a little bit of time to spend with the new LX600. Now, admittedly, when I have the cars at home, I do like to do a little bit more thorough evaluation of the sound system, especially for one as high-end as this. So I've got some initial impressions. I'm going to give my give my review and, and kind of how I feel about it now. But once we get the car back at DMHQ, then I'll listen to the system for many, many days. And if my opinion changes, I'll put out a new video. Now we always do this test with lossless uncompressed wave files and a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. I'm also going to wipe off my camera real quick just in case we got any rain on it. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. The second Lexus vehicle with Lexus's all new infotainment screen. There's no more touchpad or anything like that, it's purely a touch screen and it works quite well. We're on the media screen here, but let's go down to get to sound settings, sound media. Start off on a level screen that gives you an auto sound levelizer, so based on your vehicle speed, the music will get louder. We have that off now. And then hidden down at the bottom here under speakers, you have surround sound. Three different settings, 3D, 2D, and off. Let's cycle through those. You definitely notice how with it off, the sound is more focused up in front of you as it should be for a hi-fi sort of system. In 2D and 3D add in an artificial element that makes the music feel more around you. Sometimes I like having 2D on to create a more um, enveloped sound for certain songs that I've been listening to, but in general, off seems to be the best and most realistic recording style, so we're going to stick with that. What do what happens? Okay, I was wondering if we could get anything more there. Sound tuning, you've got treble, mid-range, and bass, let's go through those. Get rid of our physical controls, darn you, Lexus. Now I want to go back just to earlier on in the song. Gotta do it old school style and just hold this. All right. Below that, you have your standard front rear left right fader and balance. You can move the sound around the car. I'm disappointed that at this price point and for a top tier audio system, you're not getting more of a five or nine band equalizer. Pretty much every other car in this class of, of super high quality audio has a, a multi band equalizer, so it's disappointing not to get that from Lexus. For audio controls here in the new LX460, you have a volume knob right here. No clicks in perfect Lexus style, but easy enough to get to. It's a little far for the driver. I could see how a shorter armed driver might not particularly care for that. It's very far for the passenger. You also have left of the steering wheel here, volume controls. For track selection, as you saw there earlier, no more physical controls for the track. So when I'm not on the right screen, I have to get to the right screen to change tracks here, or I can use right and left on the wheel. For audio inputs here in the new LX460, the sources, you have radio, AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio. Just want to confirm that we have AM. Yep. All those three. I'm going to turn that down so we don't get copyright rated here. Let's get back to our sources. You've got USB 
It's actually only USB-A. There's a USB-C port there, but it's for charging only. So keep that in mind that even for a 2022 vehicle here, your data import is A only, but I am glad that there are both ports. Then you have Apple Music built in as well as Amazon Music. So those are both cool. And I bet you they could add other streaming services in the future. Wireless and wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support. So that's also important. And that is it. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. So that's one less way to do hi-fi music. And then also no disc player. I don't usually mention that, but Lexuses are some of the last cars to maintain disc players. So some people might want to know that you can't get that anymore here in the new LX. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 25 speaker system, so it's, it's tough to get them all right, but I'm gonna try to get them all right here. Starting in the bottom left, door for one. Then you've got what are called Unity speakers where they've got a mid-range and a treble together, mid-range and a tweeter, I should say. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 up here in the ceiling. Going into the back. I'm actually gonna turn this up so we can do a little sound demo back there. That's 14, then you've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, up here 21, 22, back 23, 24 up here, and then a big old subwoofer way back there making 25. Let's do a quick listen back here. CarPlay and Android Auto Demo. We're gonna start off with CarPlay. I've already got it brought up here. You can see no device plugged in, simply in my pocket, going very wireless. Let's go to Apple Maps. See it coming up there, taking up the whole screen. Looks very nice. Decent refresh rate, good responsiveness. There's Apple Music, or sorry, Amazon Music. Let's scroll through, get all of your things there. And let's bring up, what else, settings screen. Looking nice and pretty easy to use. How about Android Auto? I'm gonna have to pair up my device for that. There we go, full screen Android Auto coming up. You can see the device is not plugged in. Widescreen Android Auto, I should say, which means we have sort of a, a menu screen on the side that can be used for audio or mapping, depending on which app you're in. So I could do, let's say I wanted to navigate to somewhere here with maps. Uh, Copart in Detroit, which will probably take a while and there's no connection anyway, but then when I go over to YouTube Music, then the maps would be up on the right. There you go for YouTube Music, can't see much, but there's my downloads. And let's go to settings. Looks like Apple, or rather Android Auto, is working really well. All right, let's get this stuff put away and get out on the road.
while I really appreciate the power and bass that comes from this system, I think that's that's really impressive, and, and the, the dynamic range is impressive as well. The thing that's kind of getting to me is the mid-ranges are coming through very strong and harsh in my ears, and that's not something I expected from a Mark Levinson system. The previous generation LX that I tested was very, very well balanced and very easy to listen to, even at loud volumes. But I've tested a lot of different tracks in this car sitting and, and listening to all different sorts of music, songs that I listen to on many, many other systems. And there's something about even in 2D, 3D, uh, surround off, all these different modes where I'm just, I'm not loving the mid-ranges. And, and yeah, you could, you could turn the mid-range down a little bit, but when we're talking about stock EQ, flat EQ, that's how the sound engineers intended the system to sound. And that surprises me a little bit. So for this next song, we're gonna turn the bass all the way up, see how it handles that. But I, I am a bit surprised by what I'm hearing so far from the system. My thoughts on the 25 speaker Mark Levinson system here in the LX600. I, I don't know if it's if it's the weather, if it's the, the day, if it's the fact that I haven't had a lot of time to listen to the system, try to on. I don't know. I'm just not being wowed by the system in the way that I do typically with Mark Levinson SUVs. I, again, it's something about that that mid-range area. I, I don't know if it's the new head unit that they had to do different tuning or something like that. I, I really don't know and I'm, I'm a bit disappointed because typically when I get into the, either a Lexus GX or a Lexus LX, I, I wanna turn the music up and and as loud as I can, and the only time I wanna turn it down, everything is is balanced in a way that I wanna turn it down equally. So it's, it's the highs are harsh in my ears, the lows are, are too much in my ears and the mid ranges are all balanced. This I'm wanting to turn it down because the mid-ranges are coming through too high. And you see I've turned it down a little bit, it sounds a little bit better. 
it's still a very, very impressive and excellent system. And the infotainment works so much better. You got wireless CarPlay, Android Auto. That's definitely helpful. The trackpad's gone. It's absolutely an A tier system. But the last one was an S tier system. So I, I don't know. Like I said, if I get the LX back, that DMHQ, I'll, I'll reevaluate and see if that one sounds the same. But hey, if you're a Lexus LX owner and you bought a new one and you don't find the system to be quite as strong, let me know in the comments because I'm genuinely curious. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more, check the links in the description. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.